it's been a really great month uh, full of spiritual enlightenment and uh, family and community. And it's been um, a wonderful month of self-reflection. Um, and I, I feel like I very much benefited from it. Um, and it's been great to be surrounded by my team and my family and community. So uh, that's uh, that's amazing. And it, the one thing that I found particularly interesting is that uh, uh, you had a campaign running over the course of Ramadan. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so Islamophobia is a very big problem in Canada. As we know, we've been having this, these discussions for quite a while now. But I want to tell you some stats. 67% of Canadians um, hold unfavorable views of Islam. And that's really high compared to any other religion in Canada. 47% of Canadians are supportive of a ban on headscarves in public. And this is a problem because we just saw three Canadian Muslim women back in June run over by a truck or an individual who held so much hate in their heart. Um, so it's really important that we know these stats and we tackle Islamophobia. And that's why we launched the 100 Canadian Muslims Who Care Ramadan campaign. And that's 100 Canadian Muslims uh, can donate $100. And our goal is to raise $10,000 to help support our advocacy efforts. And it, this advocacy effort, is, the, is it programs particularly within Halton Region? What are you hoping to do with, that, uh, with that, those funds? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, no, it's not just for Halton region residents. Uh, we're a national organization dedicated to uh, empowering the Canadian Muslim diaspora and advocating for our needs. So what we're hoping to do is hire a dedicated advocacy officer to um, take part in our advocacy efforts. Um, and we're also looking to secure efficient advocacy software uh, for our action alerts just to become more efficient and effective because that's what our community deserves. You, you talk about hiring now, but also as well, I mean, things are on the go. You are looking for some youth uh, to hire some youth to work with the with the organization. Talk more about that. Yeah. So youth are really important to our organization. We always we always want to make sure that the youth voice is at the table. Um, so we'll be hiring 10 youth um, summer students this summer. Uh, for example, we're hiring a policy analysis, we're hiring a project coordinator, we're hiring a public relations manager, and so forth. Um, everyone's welcome to go to our website, www.muslimadvisory.ca, to see the job posting and apply. Um, I think the deadline is May 13th. That's great. And I guess the, just to round out our conversation today, I mean, I know that you know the campaign that that's going on right now is something that was over the course of Ramadan or is, and we are wrapping up, but is, it, it doesn't stop there. So people still want to continue to donate to, to this cause. They can do that, right? Yes, of course. You can always donate to the Muslim Advisory Council of Canada by going to our website uh, and supporting our efforts. Um, we rely on community support. So every little bit counts. Thank you. Just for those that are watching right now, and I know you touched on it in earlier in our conversation, but really, what is the goal here for the Muslim Advisory Council of Canada? And what are you hoping to achieve through this campaign, through hiring uh, our youth in the community? What are you hoping to achieve? So our mission is to eliminate Islamophobia in Canadian society and advance cross-sector policy solutions to address health, education, and employment outcomes for our communities. 